Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about our ISO container casters. ISO container casters are detachable wheel kits that can be uh, used with cargo containers or really anything that is outfitted with something called an ISO corner fitting as I have here in my hand and those corner fittings are located at the corners of a cargo container. I've got a model right there. Uh, but the container casters are very useful for short distance movements of cargo containers or ISO shelters where you need to move them about inside of a facility or a uh, airstrip or uh, essentially for non over the road use. Uh, again, uh, the movements are generally uh, five miles per hour or less and uh, the benefits of using these wheel kits or container casters are that uh, once installed you have a mobile container that is low to the ground relatively speaking when compared to a trailer for ease, easy in and out of the container uh, through the doors or uh, an easy way to bring the container into a facility, move it around, park them nice and close together and uh, make uh, you know different types of facilities using these containers. So uh, we offer them in a variety of sizes and capacities. You can see that uh, this little guy here is uh, good for 2,500 pounds each. This is good for 18,000 pounds and I believe that this one here is 7,260 pounds. So uh, different wheel types. I've got a pneumatic uh, tire over here uh, and that is very good on an unpaved terrain where you've got gravel or uh, some softness to your terrain and then you have the polyurethane tread a very hard polyurethane uh, which is chemically bonded to a cast iron wheel and those are very good on concrete and asphalt surfaces where you've got uh, a nice solid surface. They will roll over pebbles and uh, some obstructions, bolts and nuts and whatnot. Uh, asphalt is something that you would have to be careful with on these. If you leave them sitting on hot asphalt for too long, you could have some damage to your asphalt. So you do need to consider uh, what type of surface you're rolling on. In addition, you need to consider the weight of your container, uh, consider whether or not the weight of the container is equally loaded, and you also have to realize that uh, in reality uh, when you move a container about, especially on asphalt, where asphalt has uh, really some undulations in the surface for drainage, uh, there are times where you will not have all four wheels touching the ground. So uh, you could have your load changing uh, per on the corner. So, don't cut it too close. If you've got a container where the weight is uh, 10,000 pounds, you may want to consider that 10,000 pounds being spread over perhaps three wheels. That would be our recommendation. Uh, again, they are made to fit into the corner fitting of a container and uh, are, uh, it's very simple to use. You simply get the, uh, con the, the uh, container caster lifted up. We would prefer to see you use a forklift and put those tines right under here, under these plates, okay? And you can lift that container caster up into the corner fitting. That would be the preferred method. Once that is inserted into the, ca the container caster, you then simply move the handle to the left and that gives you an initial lock. I'll show that over here. Just move that to the left. You can see that this bayonet turns uh, and really has a block inside of the, the uh, corner fitting. So uh, what you have here is a, a rather loose connection and that loose connection is really undesirable. Uh, you know, you really can't just stop there. If uh, you leave that loose connection, you're in for a ride that allows the wheels to tow in and tow out. And it's, uh, I liken it to having a 20,000 pound bad shopping cart or bad wheel on a shopping cart that weighs 20,000 pounds and you can imagine the frustration that that would be. Well, in, 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 with these types of products, uh, a loose fitting connection will allow, uh, you could tear the treads off of your, your wheels because of the fact that the, that the wheels are free to kind of wobble around. So really a, a loose fit is not desirable and I must say that we have 
seen some competitors come out with their answer to our container casters and they just have a very loose fit and I, I know they probably have not sold too many of them or haven't used them themselves because it is a, a terrible, terrible ride with that loose connection. So our product has uh, these clamp plates on the side and when you turn this drive stud on either side, it brings these up and pinches the connection or clamps the connection. So I'll, I'll show you over here. As you take a 15 16 inch wrench, you turn the drive stud, and as I just said a few minutes ago, that you can turn it from either side, okay? Turn it from either side, and we have arrows on there that uh, show you which way to turn for tightening, but uh, it's very simple. You just tighten this up, and our website describes how much foot pounds you should put on there, but you can really put some elbow to it. Now you can see that that is an absolutely rigid connection. Uh, it also prevents the handle from being accidentally unlocked. Uh, otherwise the handle is free to move pretty easily. And without that clamp connection, uh, you could easily uh, get an unlocked position uh, while, while underway. So uh, that's it, really very simple. Once you have all four of these installed onto your uh, container, you can uh, move your container around. Uh, we sell a tow bar that fits into the uh, container caster, uh, excuse me, the, the uh, corner fitting, and fits into this hole, and those can also be found on our website. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact one of our salespeople. We do keep quite a few of these in stock. We uh, stock them uh, in all the different uh, sizes and wheel types for immediate delivery, and our salespeople will be happy to quote you prices. Thank you very much for your interest.